What if I told you that right now as you're watching this, your brain is desperately scanning for something to depend on? Maybe it's your phone, your morning coffee, or even this video itself. But here's the twist. This isn't weakness. It's evolution. We think of addiction as this dark, destructive force. But what if dependency, our need to attach to routines, substances or behaviors, is actually a survival feature that kept our ancestors alive? Today, we're diving into an experiment that reveals why your brain is hardwired to need something and why fighting that might be the wrong approach entirely. The experiment. In 1954, psychologist Harry Harlow placed baby rhesus monkeys in cages with two artificial mothers. One was made of cold wire mesh but provided food. The other was soft, covered in terry cloth, but offered no nourishment. Logic says the babies should cling to the food source, right? Wrong. The monkeys spent 18 hours a day clinging to the soft mother, only briefly visiting the wire mother to eat. When scared, they ran to comfort, not sustenance. Harlow had stumbled onto something profound. Our brains don't just need resources, they need attachment. What it means? This experiment shattered the idea that we only bond for survival benefits. Instead, it revealed that attachment itself is survival. Your brain's reward system, the same circuits involved in addiction, evolved to make you seek reliable sources of comfort and predictability. When you reach for your phone, crave your morning routine, or feel anxious without your usual habits, you're experiencing this ancient attachment system in action. Your dopamine pathways aren't broken. They're doing exactly what they evolved to do, keep you connected to something stable. Real-world application. Here's what this means for you. Instead of fighting your need for routine dependencies, you can choose them strategically. That morning coffee ritual? It's not just caffeine. It's your brain creating a predictable comfort anchor. Your workout habit, your evening podcast, even your favorite YouTube channel, these aren't weaknesses, they're tools. The key is conscious dependency. Ask yourself, what am I attached to? And is it serving me? Because your brain will attach to something. The question is whether you're choosing what that something is. So the next time someone tells you to just stop a habit, remember Harlow's monkeys. They didn't choose the wire mother because it was logical. They chose the cloth mother because comfort and connection aren't luxuries. They're necessities. Your brain isn't addicted to your phone or your coffee. It's addicted to feeling secure in an uncertain world. And maybe, just maybe, that's exactly as it should be.